However, I am trying to go open source on a lot of my stuff. And Filmora has been crashing a lot lately. And we, I don't know why. Tech support for on their end, don't know why. My system can handle it. It's got the power. I mean, I run old hardware, but I make sure that I use the correct hardware for the application I'm using it for. So I thought I'd show you some stuff I researched. Um, one of the things I liked about Filmora was the ability to capture on screen. Uh, as you can see right now, I am capturing on screen. However, ooh, sorry about that. I am currently capturing on screen footage, as you can see. I mean, right now I'm moving my mouse. But, I'm having to use a secondary program instead of one that's built into a video editor. Um, the program I am currently using is called, uh, sorry people, I gotta look it up, OBS Studio. Um, I'll pull it up on here. It is also known as Open Broadcaster Software. This will allow you to, it's open source software, uh, so basically it's completely free. There's no watermarks, there's no nothing. It allows you to do everything you want. It also seems to be really low powered. Uh, pull up Task Manager and I'll show you. Right. Sorry, I also use a dual screen setup currently, so. Whee! Okay. Let's go to Processes and see. Here we are OBS. Using about 200 megabits. Megably. I am sorry, people. I've been up. I'm always up. You'd think I'd be used to it by now, but I'm not. I don't think anyone ever actually gets used to being up forever. Uh, and yes, Chuck, I know you're going to laugh in the background when you watch this video. Um, OBS, it's 64-bit, or at least the version I downloaded and installed because I got a 64-bit OS, so I want the full capability of my system to be able to use it. Um, it's currently running at 200 megabytes of memory usage. Ignore launch, that's something else um now I have been doing research on several open source softwares that is that would be good to use as a video editor um as you can see there are several on here um, but this isn't how I found it. This is just to give you what would pop up as five most professional open source video editing softwares that would normally come up. Um, I took a quick look through some of these. I tried Caden Live. I ran into issues. I was not able to load any of my files. I think it's because they're MP4 format. Um, I haven't tried any of the others yet, mainly because I think I found a setup I like. But first, I'll give you a quick view of what I normally use, Filmora. Oh. I know, my Filmora is out of date. I don't care. Uh, we tried updating and it just caused worse issues. Uh, full future mode. Just show you what I was working on for you all. It's not loading it. Oh, hell. Let's see, file. Open recent. Misadventures without a tie rods. See if it will properly. Here we go. I ran into several issues with this due to video corruption from my GoPro Hero. Uh, my GoPro Hero is now retired. It was overheating and causing damage to the uh, micro SD card. Therefore, it was leading to video corruption throughout pretty much all files. And as you can see through this whole thing right here, where it's all sliced up. I've been trying to cut out the cor the corrupted parts of the videos. Um, this isn't what caused the issues with Filmora. It's when I try to play it and I got it cut up like this. Even if the footage is in perfect condition, it winds up crashing on me. I love this software. Unfortunately, I cannot keep working like this. It is causing poor quality videos for the uploads to YouTube. Um, oh, drag this over here. Please ignore the infinite screens. Whee! Oh, cool. Tunnel! 
But as you can see, the new video recorder I am using is uh, OBS. Um, I'm going to get a trip out of that later. I already know it. Um, OBS it takes a bit to set up. I will do a tutorial on how to set up OBS for you. Um, now, how I found my current, what I'm planning on going to try to use, video editing software, which I'll be using to edit this video. What I did was type in Filmora Open Source Alternatives. And it brings up this one. So, as I said, I tried Caden Live. And I'll do a quick show of that real quick. Show you what I was talking about. Pull up my presets. My opener. Now it's going to work. People, this is what happens when you finally get something set up to record something. It actually works. So I'll keep Caden live and backup. Uh, like I said, I ran into issues with Filmora, so who knows what I'm going to run into next. It's better to have a few choices on what I want to do my video editing and everything on. This way, if another one fails, I have a third one ready to go. Um, let's see. Video one. Try it. Uh, and it's working. I swear if someone hates me. Oh, go ahead and close out of it. No. The only thing I can think of is it did not properly load the codex because to use Caden Live on Windows, you gotta go through several steps. But as I said, I wound up choosing Open Shot, which I'll pull that up as well. <clears throat> Now, Caden Live seems to be actually nicely maintained. Um, has several features and all kinds of nice stuff. It's mainly developed for Linux. Um, it also has a few cross distributions. But, uh, Windows Edition is an only beta version. When you download it, you wound up, you want, blah, 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 blah. I'll show you. When you click KDE servers to download it, it does this. Ba 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 ba. Oh, and of course you're gonna take forever. Okay, quicker way. You come here. Go to downloads. Uh oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I just froze my Windows installation. So we'll go here real quick. Um, as you can see. It wants you to unzip this. Basically, I wonder if I still have it up. Why, yes. Yes, I do. And it will bring you something like this. You would take this folder, copy it to some, one of your directories, and then you would have to download FFmpeg shared 64-bit build. Uh, when you click on this link, it automatically downloads it. Double-click it, or whatever you got to do to open it. Uh... Afterwards, you would wind up. Let's see, his presets finally working. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna hate doing what I'm about to do. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. File. Run new task. Explorer.exe. Yeah, got all my stuff back. <clears throat> Anyways, back to what I was saying. That's probably why I took forever. I got a lot of shit in my downloads folder. Um, FFmpeg. As you can see, it's got this. When you go to extract, copy these over into the uh, folder I showed you on the last WinRAR page. It wants you to copy bin and presets over. I guess something went wrong there, but I'll test that out later. 
What I decided to go with is open shot video editing. A open shot, that's what it's called. Um, one of the things I've noticed it does not have is an uh, on screen recorder. You're not able to record audio, video, uh, webcam, anything like that. Uh, this is why I'm using OBS. Once again, this is all open source software. This will allow you to edit videos, re uh, modify them in any way, shape, or form, burn, export. Uh, let's see what happens when I click on export. See? Profile. All formats. Uh, let's see. Target MP4. No. I want HD. Oh, yo, 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 yo. 1080p, considering I got a 1080 TV, and my current camera records on 1080. Uh, my camera will eventually have an update for 4K resolution. Oh, you go to advanced. A lot of nice settings. Click on video, MP4, image, profile, all the good stuff. And then you would click on export, and here's it exporting. Oh. Now, one of the reasons I like dark theme video editing is my eyes are starting to go. For some odd reason, dark images like this with white lettering, I am able to see better. If you were to see my personal library on my servers, I have everything black page with white lettering. <clears throat> and as we can see, it exported. Problem is, I don't know where it exported to. Ah. Uh. Lee. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, always make sure to set the correct export path. It's going to take me a bit of time to get used to this new one. Um. Oh, bubby, bb. Ah, here we are. And double click. And. It actually came out pretty nice. It's showing proper 1080p. So that is what I'm going to go with. From now on, I'll be doing my... I'm going to try and finish, because I've already cut out a lot of the corrupted parts of the video for that video that you saw on Filmora. And as you can see, it's acting up again. Oh. But where all these slices are... You'll notice a lot of these say 370, 370, yada, yada, yada. That's because whenever you say slice a video in half, that's what it does. 370, 370. So, after I finish this video and cutting out all the corrupted pieces, I am going to uh, do my best to get it out to you. The main reason I'm recording this video is I am doing my best to make sure I get... <coughs> one video a week at least posted for you all um, if you are curious about alternatives to paid for a software or anything post the comment in the description uh, not the description in the comment section where you would like me to find alternatives to other software where I'll do testing I will make sure to record it as well on my OBS recorder by the way, OBS is also able to do live streaming for you. I have not tested that yet, but whenever you do the auto setup for it, it asks what you prioritize. I prioritize on-screen recording. So, yeah, if you want to see how to set it up for streaming, I will do so. Just please, once again, leave a comment in the comment section. Um, if you like my video I beg you I am utterly utterly begging you please press like and I am begging you once again if you press dislike on my video please leave a comment in the comment section on what I can do better after all I've had a bunch of dislikes on several of my videos and yet not a single comment on why you disliked it if I don't know I can't fix it if you have questions about anything once again leave a comment 
Also, if you do not mind, I plan on doing more videos like this, so if you, uh, if you want, subscribe, and I'll keep posting more and more videos. I hope y'all have a good day.